All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is a sample of this somewhat finished product, obviously, like the back of the butt socks would have been setting it on when I paint it, so it's not done, but this is the uh, general idea here, camo, Northwestern style. When it's uh, fully dry, I'll go set it out in the in the bushes and show you guys. I'd say that's pretty uh, pretty camoed. Just uh, you know, like I said on the other videos, just. Uh, Taking the two or three different color spray paints, do your base color and the light one, and then just kind of, you know, put some bushes or what, grass or whatever you can over it, and then just give it light mist coats, and you'll end up going back and forth on colors a couple times. With either there was tan and green, so tan green, tan green, tan green, but uh, once you get the hang of it, the thing is, is you can screw it up over and over and over again. And it's okay, because you just end up redoing it. As you can see, I taped off the rear sight on the barrel. Taped off the barrel hole in there. Um, just a couple little things that need to function. Or don't want paint on I don't want paint on the rear sight, because it's got those numbers on it. And it's not like it's super bright or anything. It's one little piece right here. So, taped it up. But other than that, It's not too shabby. Still see the serial numbers through the uh, through the paint, so it's not. You just want to wisp it on. You don't want to. You don't ever when you're painting, at least a firearm, you don't want to load that paint on thick. You want just really thin layers, even to the point or so thin you're almost wisping it and getting the like dried spray paint on there before it even hits. It just keeps a thin layer on the on the on the metal so it doesn't gunk up because you do have things that move like this thing opens and shuts and. If you have a big old gunky layer of paint, no matter how good it cures, it's going to come tearing off as soon as you open this. But with it thin, you hope it'll just, rub marks is the worst that you'll get. So, like I said, that's sort of hope. So, that's how it's been in the past. So that's, uh, that's the project I've been working on here. There's a couple more pieces to do, but as of right now, I'm out of paint. So, let me see if I can get you a little better look at this stock there's a cheek rest that goes on it so there's a couple little holes up top that are covered by the cheek rest it's part of this little clap crap co kit I just haven't put it on yet I used all kinds of stuff grasses and different weird random bush type things which when it actually focuses in you can see some of the different shapes of the items they use but mostly grasses a lot of pine needles around where I live See how flat that paint is?
not bad. Never done this stuff before, so just gave it a shot. And so far, so good. I'll let you know when it's put together.